Hello everyone. The story for this week is called Dolores Huerta, Growing Up Strong. The genre of the story is biography. Biography tells the true story of a real person's life. It is written by another person. In addition, it includes text features such as timelines, photographs, and captions. The new vocabulary words for this week are on page 374 and 375. Let's start. The first word is citizenship. Citizenship. It means a position of being a citizen of a country with all the rights and duties. <clears throat> for example, planting a tree in our country is an example of good citizenship. Then we have the word continued. Continued. It means something that goes on or without stopping. For example, she continued her speech. Or Justin continued to read his book all afternoon. The third word is daring. Daring. It means courageous, bold, or adventurous. For example, one brave penguin made a daring dive into the cold sea. Or they enjoyed the daring adventures. The fourth word is horrified. Horrified. It means filled with a great fear or when someone is scared. For example, Paul and his mother were horrified by the scary movie. Or when Sarah was a kid, she was horrified from the darkness. Then we have the word participate. Participate. It means when you join others or take a part of something. For example, Bard and her friends like to participate in sack races at the picnic. Grade 3 participated in the science project. Then we have the word proposed. Proposed. It means suggest something. For example, mom proposed that they look online to find the answer to Tina's questions. Or he proposed to her in a very romantic way. Last but not least, we have the word unfairness. Unfairness. It means being unfair or not equal. For example, the baseball player discussed the unfairness of the referee's call. Finally, the last word, waiver. Waiver. It means to pause when being unsure or to become weaker. For example, that confidence started to waver when he forgot the answer. Or she never wavered from her intentions. These were the new vocabulary words for this week and thank you.